Today I'm showing you exactly how to use everything about Flareo Client. As you see, I've got it right over here. If you want the download, that is going to be linked down in the description below. Anyways, uh, this is the launcher over here, the main launcher. You can, of course, also use Flareo Minimal, except for this tutorial, I'm going to be using this launcher. You can log in if you want, but you definitely don't have to do so. I also don't necessarily recommend it, as there isn't really any perks to it. Um, for the rest here, um, Flareo has a website, Flareo.xyz. You can find more information there, together with their Discord server, which is always linked right down here. Anyways, in the launcher settings, you can choose to inject a custom DLL if you wish to do so. Uh, for the rest, you can choose a specific Minecraft version um, through here. If you want, um, there are also other programs for this. There's an account manager over here, and then there are backups over here as well, which I currently don't have any. Anyways, uh, because we're using the launcher and not a standalone DLL, it'll automatically detect your Minecraft version and uh, inject for that. So you can use this for literally any version you want. Anyways, I can click on this red launch button over here and that is going to automatically open up Minecraft with Flareal Client injected. You'll know that it worked correctly when you see the Flareal on top splash text right over there. Anyways, I'll now just briefly head into a Minecraft world and show you exactly how to use this client. So, when injecting it, you should have already seen the notification that you can press on the K button on your keyboard, and that is going to open up this area known as the Click GUI. This contains all of these utilities that Flareo Client has. Um, all of these are different things that you can use in the client. To enable them, you can click on these red buttons, and to disable them, you can click on them once again, as you can see. Anyways, for the rest, you can also press on this settings cog right over here, and that is going to allow you to access this utilities customization settings. As you can see, all utilities have custom customization settings, which is definitely pretty cool, meaning that there is a lot of customization to this. Anyways, for the rest, we can get ahead over to this settings uh, bar right over here, and that is going to give us the general settings for Flareo Client, as you can see, where you can uh, choose different fonts as well as customize with an eject keybind. Pressing, if you set this keybind to something, for example, B, there we go. I can now press on B to remove the client from Minecraft and then, of course, re inject it when I wish to do so. Anyways, back in this modules area, hovering above these will actually uh, give you a brief description of what they do. Hovering above the Flareo logo will do something pretty interesting, try it out for yourself. And clicking on this search bar over here will allow you to search for anything you want. Anyways, for the rest, um, some of these utilities are actually going to be things that show up on your screen. An example of this is the CPS, which displays my clicks per second. And let's see if I can find another one. Here, the FPS, which displays my frames per second. I can now close out of here. Both of these are active and on my screen, but obviously this is a, a little weird, right? So um, I can open up the menu by pressing on K and then press on this button right over here. This is going to bring me to the HUD manager um, where I can customize the location of all these utilities on my screen. For example, I can place a clicks per second display right down there, and maybe I want the frames per second display up there. Or maybe I want it right down here next to the clicks per second. Who knows, right? Either way, once you're in the location you want, you can press on escape, and you're right back out. And now, as you can see, the location has been saved. Of course, anytime you want to change that, you can simply open up the click GUI again, go back here, and adjust that. For the rest, for the utilities that do show up on your screen, you can actually press on the settings cog for the customization settings. And the cool thing about this is that these customization settings actually allow you to customize the way that this looks. For example, text color, background color, potential border colors as well. Really cool. Anyways, for the rest, if you want these all to look the same, you can customize one of them, then copy it and paste it in the other utilities. For the rest, if you want to reset to default, there is, of course, also a button for that. For the rest, some utilities that I highly recommend are the zoom, which is going to be all the way down here at the bottom. Uh, we can click on this, and as you can see, this does have a default keybind set to C, 
and it has an animation as well which is of course fantastic anyways to enable the keybind all you need to do is click on this enable button over here and now you'll be able to use the keybind to zoom in and out just like you can with the minecraft java optifine which this is i guess kind of a substitute for and you know that's one of the utilities that i really like um one of the reasons why I like clients like this so much, just the simple optimization allowing you to do stuff like that. And of course, many more things as well. I highly recommend taking your time to scroll through this um, click UI area, find all the utilities that you might think are interesting or that you can use. Um, anyways, for the rest, this should definitely be pretty self-explanatory. If you have any questions or the like, of course, do feel free to leave those down in the comments below. But for right now, thank you ever so much for watching. And I do, of course, hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.